All right, going to be showing you guys my exact incline barbell bench press routine. This video is long overdue considering this is my highest performing video with over 9,000 views and 125 likes. Thank you guys for that. The incline bench press is literally my favorite exercise. This is the main exercise I prioritize for the anterior part of my body. It does such a good job building up the upper chest and shoulders. And the upper chest and shoulders are literally the two most important muscle groups to develop. That's what's really gonna get your physique popping. I started prioritizing incline over flat about two to three years ago. And I've been able to take some serious gains from this training routine. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what it looks like. We got my first working set. I'm going for 240 pounds for five reps. Let's get it. Holy shit. Four. All right. Oh, five. Oh, that's a fucking PR, baby. Let's go. All right, so that was a huge PR. Hit 240 for five. There's one thing I want to clear up, though. In this video right here, I did hit 225 for four. So this seems like a lot of progression, but keep in mind when I hit 225 for four, that was on the higher angle. That was on the 35 degree angle and the angle on incline is really important. The lower the angle, the more you're gonna be able to lift. So if I did that on the lower angle, I probably would have hit it for like six or seven. So at that point, if I'm hitting six or seven on 225, I probably could have hit 240 for like three to four. And I just hit 240 for five. So it's not really that crazy a progression, but also I'm a pound less. So overall, I have a tiny bit better body composition because I'm lifting a tiny bit heavier than I was last summer, and I'm also a pound less. So that's overall a lean gain in muscle mass and a small reduction in body fat. Like keep in mind, I've been training since I was like 13, so it's unrealistic for me to just like keep increasing the weight. You don't just build muscle like this, it's not linear. It's kind of like this, eventually it'll plateau. So over this year, I have been able to add a couple reps to my big lift, but when you're already lifting really heavy, even adding like one rep to a big lift can increase your max by like 10 pounds. So I'm more than content with that. It's not like I went from 225 to four to 240 for five in like eight months. It was more so just like the angles. Honestly, I only added like a rep or two, but that's still a lot considering how long I've been training for. I just had to clear it up because that could give people a false representation and false reality and I'm not a scumbag. All right, second set, going for 220, going for like six to eight reps. I'll probably get closer on the six or seven side because I went really hard for my last set. That was like pretty much the failure. So I'm pretty fatigued. The harder you go, you're gonna have like different levels of fatigue, but I should be able to get six on this. Six, gonna get seven. Ah, seven. All right, so as far as the training routine goes, I do a style of training called reverse pyramid training. I do this on all my compound lifts, not just the incline bench press. I do one really heavy set between four to six reps, a second set between six to eight reps, and a third set between eight to 10 reps. I think that this is by far the most efficient way to train on these lifts for a couple of reasons. First of all, doing this style gives you your fastest chance of progression. For example, last workout, I hit 240 for four reps. So this workout, I went for 240 for five, I hit that. Next workout, I'll go for 240 for six. Then I'll up the weight by like five pounds, go 245 for four, 245 for five, 245 for six, up the weight by like five pounds, 250 and so on. Now I will say, the longer you train for and the stronger you get, eventually like your progression is gonna slow down and like it's not just gonna be every workout you'll smash through a plateau, it gets harder and harder. So it may take you a few more workouts to add a rep, but it's still by far the fastest way to progress. I think this style is way more efficient and better than say a five by five or a four by eight. Those training styles fucking suck and completely slow down progression. For example, if I was doing a five by five, right? I just hit 240 for five. So you're telling me rather than increasing the weight, or adding a rep to the same weight. I'm just gonna go in the gym and shoot for five reps of the same weight for X amount of workouts in a row until I hit 240 for five times in a row before upping the weight or adding a rep. That's fucking insane. The faster you progress, the stronger you will be and the more muscle mass you will have. That's all about progression. I by five and four by eight training, you progress so fucking slow, therefore hindering muscle gains. With reverse pyramid training, you're upping the weight like weekly, therefore making faster strength and muscle gains. My last workout, I hit 215 for eight reps. 
So this workout, I upped the weight by like two and a half pounds. And I hit 220 for seven. Normally I would get six. Honestly, I ate like a fuck ton of food last night. So I'm pretty like carved up. But normally I would go for six, then seven, then eight. But this time I hit seven. So next workout on my second set, I'm gonna go for 220 for eight reps. Then I'd up the weight by like five pounds. And then go for 225 for six. 225 for seven, 225 for eight in that given set range. And it's the same thing for the third set too. We progress so fast with reverse pyramid training, therefore just making so much muscle and strength gains. Like if I hit 240 for five reps, why would I not want to add another rep to that same weight or increase the weight? That just takes the whole fun out of training. Like why would I want to come into the gym every single day and do 240 for five more sets of five when I literally just hit it for one? Like no, once you already hit five reps, just increase the weight or add a rep. Don't do it for five times in a row. That's fucking insanity. Don't do that shit. Reverse pyramid training, this is the style, the fastest way to progression, fastest strength gains, fastest muscle gains, best training style you can do. The upper chest is just so important to develop. It gives you that like, just big round plate of armor, like steel chest. It just really gets your physique popping. A flat bench is a great exercise, but the incline is slightly superior because the upper chest and shoulders are the most aesthetic part of a physique. Like, this is what I'm talking about. It gives you that just like huge, like round circular chest. Like you should be able to like put an object right here. You look so much like bigger, like puffier in shirts. The flat bench is a great exercise, but you really might want to start prioritizing incline over flat bench. When I started doing that, my physique just like took off to the next level. I always had big shoulders, big arms, like the fucking lower curve of the chest. I'd look in the mirror and be like, yo, what am I missing? What's going on? And then bang, it was the upper chest. I switched to the incline and I look so much better and aesthetic now. But yeah, for my third set, I'm going for 205. Depending on how hard you go on the first two sets, you're going to have different levels of fatigue. So the third set isn't that important. You should still try to like, add a rep and progress in that set range. But the first two sets are by far more important, especially the first set. Last workout, if you guys missed that video, I hit it for eight, but it was an ugly eight. Can I try to make it a smoother eight here? All right, there we go, baby. 205 for eight on a burnout set, not bad. All right, so that is my exact incline barbell bench press training routine. Go in with full effort, three hard sets, balls to the wall. Always try to progress and add some weights throughout the weeks. Really focus on adding a rep in the given rep range. Then once you hit the end goal for the reps, up the weight by like five pounds and keep doing that. People act like PRing is like the craziest thing ever. Like no, if you're eating in a calorie surplus or even at maintenance, you should be able to PR like almost weekly if you're going hard enough, especially if you're a beginner. Once you're advanced, that will take a little longer to PR. Again, it grows like this, not this, but still. If you're cutting, like you're eating in a calorie deficit and losing weight, then it's probably unlikely you're going to PR. But again, PRing isn't like the craziest thing in the world. You should be able to add reps and strain to like your lift almost weekly. That's literally like how to build muscle. It's progressive overload. You need to add either a rep to the same weight or increase the weight. That is the main way to build muscle. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Peace.